All right, this is uh, day one of the 100 day project and I had this old piece of uh, painted fabric. It's really thick and heavy and I added a lot of paint to it and when I first did it I hated it but I think in small pieces I might like it so I'm going to start with that and I've been just gathering some fabrics to go with it so this is going to be my um, field and I have some other choices here to go with it I'm not sure what I'm going to use and I also have this one with the orange I really like how the orange looks with it so um, probably kind of like a fall scene and this is an old piece of marbling fabric that I've had forever and I think that will look really nice with it too so let's see how it goes so here's a start I think I really need a, a really pale sky to go with it and Maybe that one. Yeah. Fine. Sorry about that. Oh dear. Here we go. So I think I'm going to use this. So I'm just going to cut a strip off. Hmm. I'm going to draw some branches with threads here to uh, make the, I'm just going to try something, nope, I think I like it underneath. Oops. That's why you should pin things down. You can also add some glue and I'm hoping I'll get quicker at this but it's going to be more than 10 to 15 minutes isn't it? That's a good start. Okay, I'm going to head on over to the sewing machine. Okay, so I picked some fabrics. This one will be for the sky. 
and I just found this. It's very bright, but um, it does add a good accent color. And brown and uh, orangey, rusty orange burgundy. And I also found this one, but I think maybe it will be too pale, so we'll see. So I'm going to load my pink first for the sky, and I'll come right back. Okay, I've got my pink loaded, and I think I'm going to follow. You can see there's some lines that kind of look like clouds. I think I'm just going to follow those lines. Oops, I've got to put on free motion. Where are these fabrics? Are these threads loose? I kind of like, I saw someone doing that and I kind of like the look at it. I saw another track for this one. See what it looks like. to do something now, which I've been doing a little bit more lately, just removing my free motion foot because I can't really see very well with it on. And as long as I'm careful and I don't stitch my finger, suggested if you're just starting out because I have some in my finger. Ouch. Problem working with a piece so small is trying to grab the edges of it. This is another problem. It keeps going up under the foot. That's okay. It's a learning experience. As you can see, it's not perfect, and that's okay. So next, I think I will start with the darkest one, which is this one. Whoops. I'll pause for a minute. I think I'm just going to add some grasses up along here in the dark color. Thank you. 
couple more here, maybe one more. Basically, I'm just trying to cover the spots so that I have everything tacked down. So next I'll move into the orange, which is this one. Let's see how dark that one is.
Here we go. I'm pretty much done. Now I've been trying to decide whether I want to add my initials in the bottom corner. I usually do um, on small pieces. I didn't really leave a lot of space. I could put it right here. Right here. Maybe I will. Just really small. Oh, I lost my thread. Hopefully I don't run out of bobbin thread. I have very little thread left in the bobbin. <laughs> So you can see the whole thing. And I will mount this onto a little 